Welcome to the second Shadow Hawker self service episode. It is week two and it is underway. We are going to be doing strategy tactics and some general applied thinking about both what is it you want out of this season, this semester, and also we're underway with getting you thinking about your project. The thing you got to understand about this course is we hit hard, fast, early, and we get you doing a lot of things, a lot of thinking, because you're good enough. Uh, if you weren't good enough, you wouldn't be here. So, awesome. Glad to have you on board. Loving uh, the way in which stuff's kicking off here. Also, the slides will not be available for the Shadowhawker session because you don't need them. They're, they're not an um, interesting or important part of the show. What's interesting and important is your Word documents and what you do with them. So, as always, the reminder, I'm hoping that a week two we haven't had that much content drift, but if it does, if it drifts, it drifts. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All right, tactics. This is the lead in to what is it I want to do? What is it I want to do with my project? Then I can start thinking about who is it I want this project to be for. Then I can start thinking about what is my value proposition that my project is going to bring to the internet. Oi, I better document that because it's due in week four. As always, sliders are up. Give us some feedback. Let us know. Talk to me, Shadows. Talk to me. Let me know whether that Slido system is working for you. Because I'm going to leave it open for the whole semester. I just want to know whether I've got to do stuff to make it work better. And remember, the handouts are on the waffle. All right. First thing we want to talk about. We are in the midst of, at the ANU, a major, major event. The strategic plan is also the strategic planning process. Right now, for the first time in our corporate history, and I mean the first time in the ANU's history, they are developing an education plan to go with the ANU by 2025 strategic plan. Which is an important thing to understand here is that strategy 2025 is the goal for when we're next viewing the strategy. But what I want to bring your attention to is a couple of, uh, an idea. And the idea here is that a strategy is your big vision, but your tactics is how you break it down, how you make it. To, your strategy is you're going to drive Canberra to Sydney. All right, we're taking that as the metaphor for the strategy. Your tactics is, you know that you've got to drive a reviver every two hours. Where is two hours from the start point? And the answer is, there's an Ampol service station. It's roughly 200 kilometers, so it's usually about half a tank of petrol. It's not the best of the service stations on the waypoint, but it is two hours exactly off the back of kicking off from the parking lot at the ANU. You are at the Ampol, at the refuel, at the refresh time. So that's your strategy. Your strategy is drive to Sydney. Your tactic is the breakdown. How am I going to get there? What am I going to do? So what we're going to do in this session is we're going to do three exercises that are built around sequencing some ideas. First up, we are going to get you, it's eight minutes on the timer, so get your, get your phone out, get your timer ready. We're going to build on something we did last week. What do I want to achieve from this subject? And how am I going to achieve it? In order to get to my goal, which should reside around somewhere past week 12, what is the step I need to take in week two? You'll see that there are more questions here then there are things I'm pointing to with the arrow. My intention here is to get you to do this first goal setting. What do I want to do? How? What's my next step? Then, as part of your processing, part of your post-task processing, work through those other prompts and questions. Get your timer ready. Start your timer. Pause the tape. And I'll see you in eight minutes. Welcome back, friends. Glad to have you back on board. How was that process for you? I hope it went well. So in your documentation, you should have a statement of what you want to achieve and what's your first next step. Now, first next step is a process by which you can put a concrete task that you can then put up on a whiteboard, on a vision board, on a notepad, whatever you do to track your progress, you have a thing that you can do. And when it's done, you are progressed towards your next. And these are going to be important. This is because the third phase, a strategy says, it is a drive from Canberra to Sydney. The tactics say we should rest at two hours. We should rest at the waypoint in two hours time at the Ampol Pheasant's Nest service station. The implementation is 
fire up the ignition, put foot to floor, start driving. And that is what this subject is about. It is about the drive. It is about the implementation. And let's get you there. So welcome to the next task. I am going to ask you to go to the Canva website, canva.com. I'm going to ask you to create a register for a free Canva account. Whenever I send you to a website to create an account, I am doing it because that website has a purpose, value, and role, and a reuse. So when you go to Canva and you sign up, you'll see that there are paid options. I am not requiring you to buy a paid subscription. If you find that it is useful and you can afford it and you want to put the resources into it, then yes, you can use a paid subscription because that's what the internet's about. The free account will get the job done for what I need. The second thing is the reason I'm getting you to go to an external third party website and sign up there is it is an e-marketing experiential learning exercise. You're going to use a tool of the trade. Now Canva may not survive the semester, it may go bankrupt, it may fully pets.com on us, whatever, don't care. At this point in time, if it exists and it's still there, give it a go. When I talk about content drift, this is my biggest thing I'm worried about, is that at the time I record it, Canva exists. At the time you get to do it, say in week 10, oh, something's gone wrong. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. But here, sign up. Whilst you're signing up, have a quick look around the place, because what you're going to do in your 12 minutes, you are going to create your account, you're going to come up with a goal of what you could do with that account, and then you are going to do it. And then you're going to document a reflection. So you've got 12 minutes to perform four tasks. Three of those are documented. And in the documentation, you'll see the arrows, one, two, three. So, start the timer and stop the video. G'day mates, welcome back. Glad to have you back on board. How yeah, was Canva for you? I'm hoping it went well. I'm hoping you got some interesting stuff to happen. Let's see what to do with this information now. So in the forum, the discussion is going to be around the sensory experience of going from goal to implementation. To say, this is what I want to do, and then getting it done, and doing it in a really tight time frame. One of the ways in which I operate, one of the things that I do as an educator, I make things fast. Take away some of your chance to sit back and bury yourself in paralysis by analysis. I take away some of your opportunities to go, oh, but what if... There, I could do 62 different things here, oh no, none of them are good enough, oh no, I've run out of time. If that happened to you, rewind the clock, put those 12 minutes back on there and have another shot at it, because part of what we want to give you an experiential learning opportunity to do is fast consequence, make a thing in Canva. That's it, that's all you had to do. Make it, do it, done it, think about how it was to go from, I've got an idea to, got an outcome. Now the third thing I want you to do in uh, Act 3 today is, uh, in a moment, it's going to be 10 minutes on the clock. Oh, I've got the old... Oh, so this is what would... Actually, this is useful. In the live event, this is what it would look like. This is what your instructions would be in the live. You'd have 10 minutes, you'd be talking to each other, you're in a chat room, um, and I would be prompting it. Four, four, two. What can you do with it? Who's the audience? How's it going to go? Come back. Four. Set a goal that you could all agree on would be a good use of the site to appraise what's it like, what's the experience like. That's how it would work in, and that's how it's been working in the seminars. For you, your exercise is still 10 minutes. Go to Microsoft, go to Office 365, that's office.com. Scout the place, again. But you're scouting it solo, you don't have the opportunity to bounce ideas off friends. Who's the audience for this product? Who's the audience for Office 365? Who's, do you fit that audience? Do you think you are the audience? Do you, and, Tell us what you could do with a site like this. Give us a goal, but don't act on the goal. Just then do the appraisal task. So, 10 minutes, set your timers, and pause the video. All right, welcome back. How different is it to set a task than not get to actually do the task? So, in the forum, there'll be a bit of a chat around uh, what can we do with the Office 365. ANU has a really interesting set of Office 365 licenses, so there are more opportunities to do th Shadows, I want to tell you. I'm going to tell this to the live learning event. I'm going to tell us the Daywalkers and the Night Storm. You now have two distinct visualization tools that you can use for your projects, for yourself, for your e-portfolio. You've got access to a full-fledged copy of uh, PowerPoint, so you can lay things out. You can use PowerPoints, clip arts, and graphics. You've got Canva, which is there for visualizations and visual work. 
So we're going to start building up this tool base of things that you can use in the course for the course. But also up on the forum, I have a bit of a chat. How was the experience? We're going to use the hierarchy of effects model quite a bit in the semester as a self-service tool, as a tool for you to go, what was the actions I undertook? What did I learn from those actions? And how did I feel about that learning? Equally, though, you can rotate the strike is how did I, f what did I do? How did I feel? What did I learn from that? What do I feel right now about what I've got to do and what am I going to learn as a result? There's a whole bunch of different ways to play the hierarchy of effects. You should play with it and try it out because it's a really good way to start building up that portfolio presence and maybe set yourself up some things in your uh, bullet journals for do feel learn, learn do feel, that sort of sequencing of how do I want to address this? All right, going to send you out to the forums, get in there. Be my guiding lights, be my lead strikers, post stuff, create stuff, make stuff. And remember, the forum is your playground. If you want to talk shop about your favourite TV show, if there was something that was completely awesome on Netflix, start a thread, get a conversation going, get in. Do the content creation that you want to see. As always, I can be reached on any number of the contact protocols. There are some links on the Waddle site for getting in touch. And that's week two. That's that. Woo! <laughs>